Hi, I'm Dave Burning, a gastroenterologist at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I'm here today to talk about a recent publication in the American Journal of Gastroenterology in 2014 on diffusion-weighted diffusion imaging and inflammatory bowel disease. Diffusion-weighted imaging is a new aspect for MR enterography. MR enterography is what is commonly used now to assess the small bowel in patients with Crohn's disease. Crohn's disease can affect anywhere from the mouth to the anus. MRI allows us to look at areas that we otherwise could not see with standard endoscopic techniques such as a colonoscopy. What's unique about this study is researchers from France looked at 130 patients with Crohn's disease. They performed an MRI, but they did additional sequences or additional images which with what's called DWI, diffusion weighted imaging. Diffusion weighted imaging looks at the properties of, of water molecule transfer. And the thought is in inflamed tissue, this can be impaired. And so it allows researchers or clinicians to identify abnormal segments of small bowel. In the 130 patients with Crohn's disease, what they did is compared standard MRI reporting techniques or the MARIA score with diffusion weighted imaging scores and what they found is there was a good correlation. Now why this might be important to patients is that if diffusion weighted imaging does end up being a, a good option for our patients, it might eliminate the need in, in some cases for the use of IV contrast, particularly the contrast that we use now has gadolinium. Gadolinium is contraindicated in the first trimester trimester of pregnancy. Uh, we also try and avoid it in patients with renal insufficiency. There may be some risks in those settings. So if DWI or diffusion weighted imaging can be used, it may be uh, particularly beneficial in patients in which IV contrast cannot be administered. Now, there have been other reports, including an abstract at RSNA, one of the largest radiology meetings, that question the specificity of DWI images. So I don't think this topic is necessarily over just yet, but I do think it's an exciting option, particularly in pregnant patients, those with renal issues, that we may be able to obtain high quality imaging with this new technique. Here at Mayo, we currently do obtain DWI images. We still do provide IV contrast in most cases as well. Um, but I think this will be an ongoing issue, one that we'll see more and more research on, hopefully further clarify, and eventually provide better care for our patients.